university education in Nigeria may be grounded yet again. And that's because the Academic Staff Union of Universities have threatened to go on strike due to the federal government's failure to implement an agreement reached by both sides. ASU National President Professor Emmanuel Osodeke had told news, a news conference at, that outstanding issues including funding for the re revitalization of public universities, academic allowances, promotion arrears and the renegotiation of a 2009 agreement and the inconsistencies in the IPPIS payment. Professor Emmanuel Osodeke, President, Academic Staff Union of Universities, now joins us live on the news. Thank you very much, Professor, for joining us. Thank you very much. Um, can you quickly run us through the demands that you're making um, to the federal government? Well, the demand has been there for quite a long time. And they include one, the issue of a uh, revitalization fund of public universities. The second has to do with the issue of an academic allowance. The third one has to do with the issue of the mode of payment of lecturers, which is the use of IPPIS, IPs, and our developed solution known as uh, university transparency and accountability solution. And then we had a negotiation that we have concluded, but government are not come back to us for signing or real issues that we could look at. These are the fundamental issues that are still outstanding that government has not implemented. Now, there was a meeting, obviously, um, last month uh, that um, the Minister of Labour was in attendance. What was the outcome of that meeting? No, at that, at that meeting in October, they agreed that by the end of October, all these issues will be resolved to the benefit of the system and all of us. But as speaking to you, they have not reached out to us and they have not implemented any of them. It's interesting. Let's talk about the IPPIS. I'm very interested in that. What exactly is the grouse of ASU with the IPPIS? Thank you very much. IPPIS is alien to the university system. There is no university in the world where the salaries of academics and all staff of universities are paid from the ministry. It erodes the university of autonomy and excludes so many things. One of the issues of sabbatical. In the universities all over the world, academics are allowed to move from one university to another, want to provide their input, and also gain some experience from those universities. It has been excluded by IP. But there are also True. claims against the ASU, uh, ASU and the resistance towards the IPPIS being that most lecturers can be lecturing in four different universities and being paid differently at those universities when they should be paid one salary of course then they get a, a, a stipend of sorts if they are on a sabbatical but a sabbatical is totally different from a lecturer lecturing in four different universities you can correct me if i'm wrong but these are some of the concerns that have been raised uh, as to why I, ipps is being kicked against by ASU. Let, let me let me explain to you you can check all over the world Issue of academic lecturership is all over the world. You have somebody who is very good in a particular area, and you have a university where that area is lacking. So it is that university that will have that particular area lacking to get the student well trained, can arrange with the other university to have a staff come there to teach once in a while. That is adjunct, and it's all over the world. It's only about Nigeria. So it has nothing to do with IPs, and it's, it's not the, it's, it's the university's guideline. And can do. So it's not, it's not, it's, if it's abuse, we expect the university to discipline those who abuse it. So that is the procedure. So any, all this lie they tell about you teach in four or five, six places, they are not correct. If it is true, punish the person. Don't punish the system. Okay. 
So what is, what, what, what is the fate of the average Nigerian undergraduate now that ASU is uh, about to go on another strike? I was uh, a student in, I think um, I suffered the same fate a whole year. I lost a whole academic year. Look, well, I'm wondering, what is the fate of the average person who's yet to graduate from the Nigerian Federal University? What? Listen, just, just imagine, if we reached an agreement with the federal government in December, in just December last year, to do this thing we have talked about, what I expect the Nigerian media and the Nigerian to do it, why has federal government not implemented the agreement they reached in October? In December last year, not a but also going on strike. We let me let me emphasize this. We are not happy going on strike, but we must also not allow our university to remain the way they are today. So we expect pressure to be put on the government to implement the agreement. They willingly sign, simple, and they will not be strike. Well, I want to say thank you very much, Professor Manuel Suriki, for speaking with us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.